here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Oh, they'll try a reverse here to start out. Oh, now how about this return? A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Quickly to the air is Burrow. Flushed out right. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now it's Burrow. Sliding out of the pocket. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. 11, 11, 11. 12, 12, 12. Now Burrow. Forced out to his left. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing it up fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Escaping the pressure right. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's to Chase, he's got it. Touchdown Cincinnati. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Partner, are they going to cover him? Well, that's four catches in the touchdown grab on that opening drive. Well, what we're seeing so far, I believe, is their understanding that they want to go to him and often, but also they know they've got to move him around a little bit, get him into some different spots to continue to find open space to throw him the football. Otherwise, I just run two or three guys at it. They're doing a nice job of finding his way open, scheming him, as they like to say. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10. Right at the 30. On play action, they'll throw. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Go on. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. 
We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but... He's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to... Touchdown, Detroit! David Montgomery, 35 yards. And the Lions respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And that CD, one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys had really good shots at him, but he just said, I don't think so. Speed, power, elusiveness, all on display right there. Look like you, partner, back in your salad days in Evansville. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. He will find his man Chase complete down the left sideline. And he'll take this into the end zone from Bengal TD. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Bengals have taken the lead. McPherson now for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. And they'll send Williams in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 
A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Here's Goff. Open man right side to St. Brown. And he's going to get forward for a couple before he is banged down hard at the end. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Goff and Williams hooking up there for a Lions first. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and four. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. Oh, Montgomery just unable to twist free as they hit him short of the line to gain. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. That is caught. Shrugs him off. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams hauling that one in from Jared Goff. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Ah, oh, they'll try to run a reverse here. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Bengals. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. He's airing it out for Williams. 
into a double team and it's intercepted. It's DJ Turner who's got it. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well. That's caught inside the 20, and he takes this all the way inside the Cincy 20. A big play there for Detroit, 62 yards. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the short. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery with his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Goff looking to throw, and this will be caught as they convert here for two. They didn't want the tie. They roll the dice, and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feeling like we're just hanging with you. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead, and that just changes the complexion of the whole game. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's Burrow. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. Now back to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now. 
As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And he finds Montgomery complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, a 22. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 down at the 33. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. Oh, some strong running. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jameer Gibbs, 29 yards. And the Lions are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go. And when you're an RB1, running back one, you've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now it's Burrow. Buying time to his left. 
And incomplete on the deep ball. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Second and 10. They go play action with Burrow. This one caught downfield by Higgins. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. And this play still live. He faked the spike, going to throw it. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This one from 48 yards away. McPherson's kick is good, and that'll move him back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. To throw is Goff. He's got a man complete. And they finally bring him down, but he reaches the 16. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Gibbs straight ahead. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. 
Back to the ground, this time Montgomery breaks a tackle. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Montgomery is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you say, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. No, not at all, because you may leave an opening that could come back and get you. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. They go jet sweep here with Williams. Oh, that is well read on the backside. And he'll be met well behind the line of scrimmage. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. And this one is right through. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done. But, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Burrow. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hudson. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Here's first down. to throw Burrow. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Lions are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now gone. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Williams. And they do finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 41. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now 
Goff now to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Jamison Williams, his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions have extended their lead to 15 now here in the fourth. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. And someone a little too eager to block this extra point. Henceforth, the flag. A golf in that Lions offense staying on the field. They'll try for two. And now we've got a man a little jumpy here. Maybe trying to block the extra point. So the Lion offense staying on the field as they're going to try for two. They'll look to throw. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace where the other offense are going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. A final shot now for Burrow. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. One final shot, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. 